So I stayed pretty quiet on this whole uh, pro Jared thing that was going on about a week ago at this point because honestly, you know, I, I wasn't really that invested in it. I mean, I made a couple comments on Twitter, but overall it, it wasn't something that I felt was video worthy here on the channel because I, I didn't really know the full extent of the situation. I just kind of knew what I was reading, but now that the dust has settled, and, you know, everything's kind of been reported on. The facts are all kind of here. And now that we basically have stories from both of them to kind of compare and contrast, it's a good time because Pro Jared, okay, the guy who is basically the villain in the whole thing, has released an official response to what is going on. He's officially commented on all of the rumors, on the backlash, on you know, the allegations of cheating and things like that. Not only did he play victim the entire time, but he made some statements that just simply don't add up at all. So he made a response on Twitter. It's been almost 24 hours at this point, but uh, it, it's definitely worth talking about simply because it's just a big joke, honestly. Like this is one of the worst responses I think I've ever seen. I mean, he just literally has no self-awareness whatsoever when it comes to how he responded to this. Not only did he ignore a very huge factor of the criticism and hate against him, he uh, he played victim a lot, okay? And, and he made some statements that uh, they, they don't add up really, okay? So we're, we're gonna talk about these. If you're somehow unaware as to what's happened overall, let me give you a quick rundown. YouTuber Pro Jared was in a relationship with a woman named Heidi, right? that he was married to her and whatnot. However, Heidi came out and basically exposed him because he was cheating with another YouTube creator named Holly, okay? And on top of that, Pro Jared was also exposed because he had been sending a bunch of nude photos of himself to underage fans on the internet. And, you know, both of these things kind of combined in into this big storm against him. It trended on Twitter. It was literally on the news in some places, like entertainment news sites and stuff, where they basically just kind of, you know, talk about what's going on on the internet, who hates who today and whatnot. But it was pretty huge, honestly. It was a really big news story. It brought a lot of attention. A lot of YouTube creators commented on it. And, you know, it, it wasn't really a good situation for anyone involved because a lot of people got a lot of hate simply because this guy decided he wanted to fuck up. Okay, that, that, that's what it all really boils down to here. So we're gonna go ahead and just read his response, okay, to the entire thing, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and deconstruct this whole thing. I am deeply sorry to anyone who has seen the accusations, vitriol, or unwanted photos that my former partner, Heidi, and others have been posting online since last Wednesday, May 8th of 2019. The truth is, Heidi and my marriage have been in a bad place for some time. I never wanted for any of those details to become public for both Heidi and my mental well-being but they have, and the accusations being made now must be addressed. A few years ago, Heidi asked me if we could be in an open, polyamorous marriage. I recognize now that this request and my willingness to go along with it was an unhealthy attempt to solve deeper issues that had developed within our marriage. Heidi has taken several casual partners and has been in a more serious relationship with another partner since 2017, whether done to make her own actions feel justified or because she genuinely believed it would help me, quote, build self-esteem, Heidi suggested that I also engage with other women. Heidi encouraged me to tell Holly that I was developing feelings for her, but when I did, things changed with Heidi. She became angry and vindictive and did not want me to see her speak with Holly anymore. She called me a cheater and claimed that I was destroying our marriage because of my, quote, affair, even though she continued to have other relationships with other partners. I never wanted to destroy our marriage and I spent months after that doing what I could to repair it through couples therapy and extensive individual therapy. Those close to me have witnessed Heidi's behavior towards me on many occasions and have begged me to leave for some time. I was many things during this time, including embarrassed, scared, and broken, but I was never the abuser. I made several attempts to leave starting in October 2018, but each time she refused to let it happen, threatening to destroy my career or harm others if I left. Despite all of this, I tried to end things amicably. I helped Heidi find a new place to live and paid the initial deposits. I bought her a car to facilitate her independence. I formally filed for divorce on May 13th and have instructed my attorneys to make sure she receives her fair share of what I earned while we were together. I genuinely never wanted any of this to happen, but I have finally realized I have no other choice. Even though I have been tempted to put information out online that shows my side of the story, I don't want to further stoke the fires of what should be a private matter between us. My hope is that both of us continue to pursue therapy and come out of this unfortunate situation as better people, but I want everyone to know that any other interactions I may have had with any other women were known to and encouraged by Heidi, 
and were had with only the purest and lawful intentions. I'm sorry to everyone that I've disappointed. I realize that as a public figure, I'm held to a higher standard. I've made my share of mistakes, but I've only ever tried to do what's best for Heidi and me. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice through these eight or so paragraphs is that he plays the victim quite heavily, okay? Now, as somebody who, I guess, cheated in a relationship and literally sent nude photos to several underage fans, I don't think you really get the right to play victim in that situation. Maybe it's just me. I, I just don't think that that's the case, man. I don't think people feel sorry for you. I don't think anyone's going to feel sorry for you, okay? So you'll notice that. It's basically littered all through this entire thing. Now, I'm going to kind of propose two scenarios here and go off of what I think based on either. Let me be 100% clear. I do not believe that Pro Jared is telling the entire truth here. I think that a lot of this is just him trying to shift blame off of himself. And I think in reality, he probably is as bad of a person as he was exposed to be. I'm pretty sure he probably cheated. I'm pretty sure that he probably knew that some of these fans he was sending pictures to were underage. That's just what I personally believe based on all of the facts that have come together. You know, I, I would believe him more, maybe if he didn't play the victim card, and if all this other information about him and the relationship kind of weren't out there, you know? But let's go with scenario one, okay? Just for argument's sake, let's say that everything that Jared has said here is 100% correct, and that Heidi made a lot of this up or completely exaggerated most of the situation in order to kind of get back at him for their deteriorating relationship and her own jealousy in a situation she apparently created. If you don't know what a polyamorous relationship is, it means that instead of being loyal to just one partner and, and being married to one person and basically having sex with one person, you're free to do that with as many partners as you want. As long as it's consensual, everyone understands what's going on, everyone's fine with one another doing these things. You know, that, that's kind of the, I guess, groundwork for these things. I don't know. I've never been in one of these relationships personally. I don't really care. I, I think they're fine as long as everyone's okay with it, you know? It's just the way I see it. If everyone's consensual adults in the situation, everyone's able to make the decision, and they're fine with it, I, I don't have any right to say it's wrong. However, though, you know, he states that Heidi kind of pushed him into this relationship, or at least that's what he kind of insinuates. Oh, you know, Heidi encouraged me to be in this polyamorous relationship and whatnot, you know? Let's say that, you know, she kind of pushed this whole thing. She's got her partners that she's apparently been taken seriously, you know, that he states. And she gets mad because he chooses his or whatever, right? Then I wouldn't necessarily consider that cheating. If she understood what was going on, she encouraged him to pursue these feelings like he states, and she's cool with it until it happens, I mean, that's just not fucking cheating. That's not what that is. That's just simple understanding of what cheating is. In order for it to really be cheating, your partner has to not be okay with it, okay? Now, his point is that apparently she was fine with it until he pursued it or whatever here. And if this is the case, then I mean, he kind of got a lot of shit over something that wasn't even wrong in the first place. You know, if he's telling the truth and she's lying about the whole thing, which I guess is technically possible, then she's a fucking liar and she deserves to never be trusted again. But, I mean, just based on everything going on, doesn't really seem realistic. And let's just say for argument's sake once again, because he never really addresses it very well, the whole, like, sending pictures to minor fans. He just says, oh, it was, it was with the purest and lawful intentions. Let's say he didn't know any of these girls were underage. You know, why are you still sending your nudes out to your fans, okay? I don't know how many times this happened, how many times he sent these pictures to fans. But, uh, y you know, you kind of got to realize... If you're gonna send a bunch of dick pics to all your fans and whatnot, eventually that shit's gonna come back and bite you, okay? Eventually someone's gonna leak them, or there's gonna be a problem down the road. I think anyone with a brain can kind of see that one coming from a mile away. Apparently Jared was just so horny he couldn't control himself. Like, the photos had to go out to several, you know, coincidentally underage fans. But let's say he doesn't know that they're underage. I mean... It's totally possible that all these girls randomly lied about their age, right? That literally everybody who he sent all these nudes to that were apparently underage, you know, lied about this whole thing or didn't disclose this information. Then he's still a dumbass for sending them to everybody. I mean, come on now. You got to be a little bit more intelligent than that. You know, Jared, I, I kind of thought... D depending on, you know, how, what kind of content you were making, maybe you weren't a total idiot, but I guess I was wrong, man. I, I guess I was just, I was the dumb one here. However, let's say 
that just like I believe, he's just making a bunch of bullshit up and he's trying to shift blame on people and that he's at least mostly not being honest about what happened and this all gets proven and whatnot, then he deserves even more shit because I'm sure he'll have at least some smidgen of a career left, like some people will still kind of follow him because in reality, a lot of people have done a lot worse and gotten away with it and still have careers and stuff. You know, if that's the case, then everyone should just ignore this jackass for the rest of his life and he should never have a platform ever again because I believe in second chances, but this is your second chance. Your second chance is to just come out and be open about what you've done and, and like admit to things or if you're being truthful, you know, tell the truth. That, that's kind of what your job is to do at this moment. But if he's lying about the whole thing, everyone just needs to ignore him forever. I, I just, I don't think that he should be given another chance if that's the case. Because, I mean, what else is he going to lie about in the future when some other shit happens? Now, regardless if he's lying or telling the truth, which I can't 100% prove either way, because I'm not involved in the situation, I'm just giving a third-person perspective here, he still should not have waited an entire week, really, to let the thing kind of, I guess, simmer down and then start the whole fire all over again. I mean, if you're gonna burn the firewood, dude, just burn it all at once. You know, just get it out of the way. Everyone already was at your neck a week ago. This situation boiled down, people really stopped caring. I mean, let's be honest, it's the internet. People weren't still sitting here like, man, that pro Jared guy, I really hate him right now. He cheated on Heidi. Oh, like just getting worked up, right? You waited so long in internet time to kind of give your response to the whole thing. And if it turns out that you lied, bro, you just, you failed. Mission failed, you don't get a next time. I mean, this whole situation's just confusing. I don't understand his thought process. I don't understand why he had to play victim throughout the whole thing, regardless if he's telling the truth or not. I don't understand why he had to wait so long to defend himself. I guess he thought if maybe he let all the hate hype around it die down a little bit, that maybe he could get a word in edgewise and people would kind of believe him. I don't think that's the case because pretty much every response to this tweet has been somewhat negative or just fully negative. I mean, the internet just doesn't forget about things in a week. Like, the whole internet, especially when it trended on Twitter, they're not just gonna be like, oh yeah, what's pro, what did Pro Jared do again? Oh, he cheated, right? Yeah, okay. Just really isn't how things work, dude. I, I would have thought you maybe would have known that considering, you know, you've been an internet creator for a while now, right? The whole situation is just ridiculous, man. It's like, just be honest. I, I'm assuming in reality, because human nature is to kind of, un unfortunately, sometimes we subconsciously skew things. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes people's brains kind of make up a scenario and they kind of believe it and they believe that they're in the right because of it, just because of that natural self-defense mechanism and whatnot to defend your name. Sometimes people do this intentionally and lie about shit and to harm others or to defend themselves. People are assholes and they will do things like that. I mean, it's just a human nature thing, you know? Like, it's kind of just built into everybody. That That's what we do. We have egos. We try to protect our fragile little egos. But to do it intentionally is a completely different thing. And I feel like, in reality, both of them have subconsciously skewed a lot of the details in their favor. And the truth around this whole situation is probably just a mixture between both of their stories. Like, for instance, I'm not saying this is the truth, but to kind of clear things up, let's say that they did agree to be in this polyamorous relationship, but uh, Heidi did give him permission to, I guess, go after Holly or whatever, but then she really did just get mad and jealous one day and decided to use it against him and kind of made up the whole cheating thing. Maybe that did happen. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. I'm just kind of making this whole thing based on a what-if scenario with all of this, okay? I think we shouldn't jump to conclusions unless there's enough evidence to jump to a conclusion, you know? I don't necessarily blame everybody for believing Heidi right off the rip. I don't necessarily blame some people for believing some of what Jared's saying. But one of them is lying about something. One of them has to be lying. This doesn't make sense, obviously. Somebody's lying and it needs to be proven. That way we can really figure out who the bad guy is here. Even if he's not the bad guy, he's still a fucking dummy. Okay, let's just be honest and call it for what it is. That's just how this whole thing goes. 
anyway, so that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of my newest content. Join that Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. If you'd like to become a channel member and help support my content for only $5 a month, you can do so by hitting the join button down below or the become a channel member link in the description. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus lying on Twitter and signing out.